Hi guys! Tonight I'm just going to do a couple little crafts uh, focusing on the little red truck. Everybody loves the little red truck. Or doesn't love the little red truck. But I got this box from the Dollar Tree. Came with this lid on it. I'm not going to use the lid. I'll use that for something else. This is what the box looks like and all I did was I painted the inside with apple barrel flamenco red paint and then I punched a little hole in the back side because I'm going to be running some LED lights through there. Let that dry. Once the paint is dry, one or two coats is all you got to do on that. I got these from the Dollar Tree. These are super cute. I love these so much. They're little gift boxes. That's one style, and then that's the other style. And I can't remember how many came in that pack, but I think it was six. And all I did on that was I cut off the red border just so I had a little square. And I'm going to hot glue that down into the corner of this box. Gonna try to. Let's see. Now we just got to get that in there good. Right up into the corner. And <laughs> it's a little crooked, it'd be all right. Nobody's going to notice that. I'm sure, you guys could do a lot better with this than me. All right. So that's what you got. <laughs> it's a little crooked. It'll be okay. Alright. From, uh, this was Walmart. 86 cents for these little tiny 4 inch little Christmas trees. I'm just going to use one of those. A tag cut off there. And I want to hot glue that down over to here. Is the plan anyway? We're gonna see. I want as much of that truck visible as what I can get. So let's just kind of push that down there. Hold that for a second or two. All right. Now, here's where a little bit of work comes into play. Where did my crap go? You're going to need some crafting sticks. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to. But I'm going to be putting some cotton balls into here along with the LED light so it looks like snow and I want to hold those cotton balls in there really good. You don't have to do this though. But I used four crafting sticks and I cut it down to size so it would fit the box just a little bit of an overlap there. Painted the black and I'm going to go ahead and paint these black too, these little, little pickets. It's going to look like a little black picket fence. Apple barrel black paint. Probably should have done this first so this dries faster, but it'll be all right. Let's just slap that black paint. Probably should have washed my brush again, but that's all right. It'll be all right. Trying to go a little bit fast because I have a crappy camera and it cuts out at 29 minutes. 29 minutes is all I got to do a video, which I guess is enough time. I don't know. All right, that's going to be our little picket fence. Go ahead and do the back. Nobody's going to see the back, but I'm going to do it anyway, real fast. I'm going to let that dry. Like I said, I probably should have done that one first. Let's 
so that it would be dry by the time I was ready to use it. It's okay. I'm making this up as I go. I've said in other videos, I get stuff in my head, little ideas, and I'm like, oh, that'd be so cute to do. And then when I try it, I'm like, oh, you know, I don't know if that's going to work. We're going to hope this works. All right. Make sure we got that covered good. All right. We'll set that aside. We're going to let that dry. It's only going to take a minute or two for that to dry. That out of the way. That out of the way. Yeah. Okay. All right. So while that is drying, hopefully that'll be dry by the time I'm ready to use it. Gonna put some uh, cotton balls in here because I want a little bit of snow at the bottom of that. So a little 98 cent bag of cotton balls from Walmart. I'm just going to kind of pull those apart a little bit. I don't want to shred them. I just want to pull it apart. Get more coverage. More bang for your balls. <laughs> cotton balls, that is. More bang for your cotton balls. All right. I am going to do a little bit of hot glue and try not to get it in that hole. Because I really want these cotton balls to set down in place. Shove some back there. Oh, God dang. Every time I burn myself with this hot glue. And cover up the base of your tree because that's kind of ugly. You don't want that showing. Try not to cover up my hole because the hole down there because I want to run my lights through there, which I will do while I'm waiting for my little picket fence to dry. Here's what you got? All right, I like that. It's gonna be nice. We think anyway. All right, from Amazon I ordered a 12-pack of LED white lights. <laughs> if I can get them there. Um, they were like $12 and some change before tax, so, you know, a dollar or something. My Dollar Tree does not carry these, so this is a good deal off of Amazon. And these things last a really long time. So, we're going to feed that through the back of the box. that all the way through except for this part that doesn't have the lights we don't we don't need that in there let's get that out of the way all right then it's just a matter of running your lights however you want to run them you can run around the top if you want to and use hot glue to secure it i'm not going to do that i am just going to put this around the bottom This is just our first layer of snow, so these lights should show through the second layer of snow pretty good. We think. <laughs> we don't know for sure. Kind of guessing on that. But you don't want your wire to show. That's why we're going to put another layer of cotton balls down over top of that. You know what? Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, I'm going to run this around our Christmas tree. Change of plans. Going to run this around our Christmas tree. 
and that should look really neato. So on the Christmas tree your wire will show. A little bit, but that'd be alright. Now here's where we're going to go ahead and just put down another layer of cotton balls to cover that up. I'm going to turn this on there real quick. I want to see if I got the lights where I want them to be. <laughs> That's so cute. That's, I like that. Okay, more cotton balls just to kind of lightly cover up those lights. I don't want to totally, totally cover them up. I hope I'm not covering those up completely. Our little picket fence along here is going to cover up that wire there for the most part. This hot glue, when you take it over these lights, it does not hurt the lights at all because they've got a little uh, kind of rubber or plastic coating over them. So that's not going to melt your wire. At all. A little bit more over here, I think. Maybe just about a half a cotton ball or something on that. Because we want it to look like snow. All right, let's check it again. Check that again. <laughs> I snorted. I'm sorry. I laughed so hard I snorted. That looks so good. I think on the camera there it's looking a little blue, but it's really not. It's nice and bright white. All right. Now we're going to have our little picket fences done. We're going to do it like that. This is going to get hot glued to the front. Now, when I assembled this, I just used the four craft sticks, cut it down to size so it would just kind of rest on the outside of the box, and then I chopped the, or cut the smaller pieces just using a scissor, painted it all with that apple barrel black. It's still a little wet right there, but I don't think that's going to hurt anything. It will dry. I left a little gap at the ends so that it would rest on that box. So let's see if this part's going to work for us. We don't know on this. Like, seriously. I don't know on this part. It should work. If it doesn't, I'm going to be a little PO'd because then I got to come up with something different. Now, painting that crap and cutting that crap took a little while to do. So I'm going to hold that down good. Give that just a second or two. <laughs> That's, I love this. I love this so much. I cannot even, I'm so excited. <laughs> I want another cotton ball back there though. Fill in that little space. So glad I came up with this idea. All right, so then, just because I don't want to leave it like this, I like to go a little, the, the little extra mile, so to speak. Let me attach this real quick first. Oh, do this. I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna try hot glue in that, and we're gonna see if that's gonna work. If that doesn't work, I'm going to be duct taping this bad boy down to the back. But we're going to see if the hot glue will hold on that little 
battery pack there. We're going to hope it does. If it doesn't, like I said, I'll be slapping some duct tape on there to hold it in place. Nobody's going to see the back, so it doesn't matter what the back looks like. That in place. Stay. We're going to hope that stays. God. Let's just... I love this. All right. So, from Walmart, you don't have to do this. If you know, if you want to just call it quits on this, if you're going to try this, that looks really super, super awesome the way it is. But, I had these on hand from Walmart. A six-pack of these little signs, uh, $1.98. And I want to use them on this. These are little uh, Christmas tree decorations. I'm just going to cut off the holder for it. And then... I think where I want to put it. I want to cover up where it says tree farm. But I got that over there, so I think for a little bit of balance, we're going to put this over here. Let me think. We don't know for sure on this one. Very carefully put some hot glue there. Then we got to hope this is going to stick. Hold that for a second or two. I've said in other videos, the only glue stick I use is Gorilla Glue Sticks. They are awesome. I love them. I love them. I love them. Someday when I hit a million subscribers, which is probably going to be in 25 years, <laughs> at the rate I'm going, maybe they'll endorse me. Maybe they'll sponsor me. But I love them. I use Gorilla Glue on everything. Glue sticks, the wood glue. Just... it. Just can't get any better than that. And it dries really fast and it adheres to just about everything. So there's what we got. Now, this does have the hole where the hanger was at. I don't like that there. So I have some berries from a pick. And we're going to plop those down on into there. So right if some of the white's on there from where I pulled it off, it's going to look like snow. It'll be all right. Don't be too anal about your projects. I think I want a third one just so it kind of looks like little holly berries. On there. Let's plop that one down up onto there. Let's get our glue strands off there. <laughs> I love this. I think this is just awesome. All right. So, it's probably going to look blue on the camera. But, you know what? I have a bow. I have bows. I have these bows from Walmart, $1.98 for a six pack. I have these bows. Oh, I don't even know. That was Walmart, or no, that was Dollar Tree. Dollar for six bows. Which do I want to use? I think these would be too big. This kind of goes with the color scheme. So, I think what I'm going to do on this is use this. I don't know. That might be too much. Sometimes less is more. We're going to see. These have wire in them, so you can play around with them. Well, like I said, sometimes less is more. I don't I don't think I want... No, nah, I'm not going to use the bow. Less is more on this. So let's flip it around and turn it on. Oh, God. I love this. All right, that looks kind of blue. I'm going to switch my camera setting and see if I can. Well, no, let me turn it off and see. That still looks blue. Trust me in person, the light is not blue. It is a bright white, and it looks super cute. 
<laughs> I love this. So I was going to do another one in this video to tie into this, but I'm going to do this in a separate video because my camera shuts off after 29 minutes, and I think I am already at about 20 minutes. And so I'm going to do a part two to this. There you have it. Um, super cheap to do. You're really going to love this one. And thank you guys for hanging out with me. And I'll see you next time when I do this one. Bye-bye.